We got the best of the best, top of the line, cream of the crop, men's snow goggles for the 21-22 season coming up. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with my best friend. Eyeglass Tyler right now, snow goggle Tyler. Because we're going to talk about our favorite snow goggles for men for this season, the 21-22 season. There are a plethora of amazing goggles from a lot of different brands, but these are kind of like our favorites. These are the ones. We're going to go over why we picked them, why they're here on the table. But real quick, before we go into like each goggle specifically, they all kind of share some few things in common, which is what makes them kind of the best of the best. One is they all have amazing lens technologies. They all have newer lens technologies that are color enhancing, contrast enhancing. If you're still rocking goggles from five, six, seven years ago and you haven't tried like this new wave of lens technologies, really it is a world of difference. It's like night and day, it's a big deal. I highly recommend checking out some of the new Prism, Chroma Pop, Luma Lens kind of world out there. Um, the other thing they all have in common are triple layer foam and that last layer of foam is just going to be so soft so nice. and moisture wicking and just just nice and so they're going to form to your face really well they're going to be really comfortable they're going to help get rid of that uh sweat that last layer of sweat if you run hot like i do um so that's really nice what else do they all have tyler they also have nice helmet compatibility everything you need in terms of helmet compatibility nice wide strap silicone bead uh, and then adjustability that's super important we always recommend staying safe out there wearing helmets and these are all going to work well with your helmets uh, a couple of these have some uh, unique lens interchange mechanisms, so we'll get into that individually. Uh, really good fog resistance, really good circulation, ventilation, all of these guys share. Uh, also, they all share that they are Xable. You can get a prescription in all of these goggles, which is amazing. I can't live without them personally. It has been a life changer for me. So if you wear a prescription, you didn't know you could do this, absolutely do this. Skip putting your really super nice expensive glasses and jamming them in your goggles. Skip having to deal with dry eyes with your contacts. The inserts are fantastic and I, I can't say enough about them. Well, I, you, you said a lot, so thank, a lot. thank you. Let's get into the goggles, Rob. You pick one first, okay, you go so first. I think that my favorite still has to be the M4. This is an, a, go, a goggle made by Anon. If you're not familiar with Anon, it is a goggle company that is owned by Burton or run by Burton. And we all know Burton is amazing in the snow world for sure. This is my absolute favorite goggle because it looks dope AF. Also, the interchange mechanism is the easiest by far of any goggle out there. It's just magnets, super strong magnets and they have these little uh, grips here so you can actually remove it without smudging the lenses. You can do it with, with gloves on. You have then probably my next favorite thing about this goggle, which is the MFI, Modular Face Mask Integration. Best face mask system that you can possibly find. Yet another top of class, amazing in terms of ease of use in terms of functionality. It helps to minimize fogging. It keeps it off your face. When you want it off your face, you keep it around your neck, obviously neck warmer, and then it stays down. You pop it up. You don't have to look. You don't have to jam it under the foam. You can do it with gloves on. Amazing system. Yeah, it's hard to fight with that MFI. That might just take it over the edge. It's just such a wonderful system. And yeah, the interchangeability and the uh, lens technology, I mean, you just, the anons, they're amazing. For one reason being this toric lens system and shape is awesome if you're not familiar with that. It isn't uh, cylindrical, it isn't spherical, it's kind of a blend of both, so best of both worlds. This is also available in a cylindrical version. What's really cool beyond that is that the chassis is the same. So if you decide you like toric and then later on you decide, you know what, I want a cylindrical lens. You can get just the replacement cylindrical lens, slap it on the same chassis, it still works. Yep, that's Incredible awesome. Incredible design. Other thing I love about Anons before we move on is just the durability. They're just some of the toughest uh, products out there as far as how long they last. It's just built, they're not heavy, but they're kind of just built like a tank. And you do get two sets of lenses automatically in the box with that. 
If you order the Toric set, they'll both be Toric. If you order the cylindrical set, they'll both be cylindrical. But you're gonna get something for sunnier, brighter days, and you're gonna get something for overcast, lighter days. In fact, I believe all of them have interchangeable lenses that come automatically with them, except for the Oakley Flight Deck. Uh, Flight Deck. Maybe we should just jump into that jump into one it. since we're right there. This one's very special and near to dear to us because this is a s exclusive SportRx colorway, which we're almost completely sold out of in the line miner medium m which used to be Damn, called xm laugh. which there's a whole videos explaining all that weird naming convention that oakley is going <laughs> struggling with every season <laughs> uh there's also the flight deck which then called was called the flight deck xl which is now just called the flight deck l which we do also have in our own color so that one we have plenty of stock in still um, but this one is our colorway that you can only get at sport rx code what, black what i like about the uh, flight deck there's a few things but one thing is they're not interchangeable and that's a little bit different they're a little bit less expensive you don't get two sets of lenses which is one of the reasons they're a little bit less expensive but with that prism lens technology with one set of lenses especially if you get like the jade or the torch or the uh, sapphire I just feel like that one lens works really really well in almost all conditions unless it's like the widest outest uh, sleetiest, <laughs> darkest, grayest day there is, you're pretty good. I mean, yeah. it works really well because of that prism lens technology. So just a fantastic goggle, uh, basically rimless. So shield all the way around. Um, I just, spherical lens spherical shape. Spherical lens shape, gonna be really hard to fog, works great with our insert. I just, I just love this goggle. One thing I do want to note, it, it, we, he said not interchangeable in that there's oh. not an ease of interchangeable like mechanism. It still is interchangeable. You can get replacement lenses if you so desire. If you just absolutely love that look and that style, you can. It's just kind of the old world way of doing it where you pull the goggle away from the lens. But that is yeah. I wouldn't say they're interchangeable. Like you're gonna want to wake up and decide what weather it is and change them. But if you have a set and they're scratched up and you don't need a new goggle, you just need a new lens. You can order a new one and install it. We have a video on how to do it. It's not super intuitive. It takes a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Where so you get curve. other goggles, where I'm gonna skip you and just go right into go. this other goggle. I'm in love with this one. This might be my new favorite goggle. Maybe I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. They're all like my babies. Um, but the Spy Marauder elite especially in this like primered colored gray with the two-tone uh, i'm just in love with this thing the venting system is kind of like this thicker than average right here and the triple layer foam and then the interchangeability is super sweet i think you might know the technical name of this yes they call it the deadbolt locking system yeah it's awesome you just unlock it and then it's magnetic after you unlock it. So it's super durable and it comes out really easily, goes back in really, really easily. And then you very just- Very strong. But then you lock it. Very strong, very secure, very fast, sweet looking goggle. Uh, happy lens technology too. Maybe is a little bit underrated in this world. I've tried them many times out there. They're fantastic. There's nothing to be, they're, they're not, they're second to none. Happy lenses are for real. So I'm just Great. really soaked with this Spy Marauder Elite right now. Also a toric lens shape. So if yes. you like the idea of toric, it's amazing. You have a huge wide field of view. Uh, the thing not to be undersold, the, the venting on the top is to help manage snowpack a little bit better. Yes. And to minimize the potential of fogging when there is snow resting on the top of your goggle. And so that's pretty cool. It's a little more durable, a little more, uh, for sure, better quality. Awesome. Why don't yeah. we look out to the next pair? <gasps> The Lookout. This is made by Zeal. This is a new addition this year. Uh, it is essentially the hatchet, so you still get that observation deck technology, but you're also getting their rail lock system. So now essentially you're getting the hatchet, but with that ease of interchangeable functionality, this is a cylindrical lens, really solid goggle. Yeah, it's awesome. It's kind of like the best of both technologies that they had put into one goggle, the new lookout. What that uh, observation deck technology means is that there's kind of in the optical world what you call a panoscopic tilt. Skilt, tilt, wilt, <laughs> you say it right. You're a better optician. Pantoscopic tilt. Yes, thank you. And that means basically the goggles are kind of angled a little bit because when you're skiing and snowboarding, you're looking downhill more than you're not. Yeah. So the optics are that way a little bit so that the frame is less in your way and you just kind of have a better view of uh, down the mountain so you can shred harder. Really solid. If you like photochromic 
lens technology. Automatic. You get the automatic plus. That lens is amazing. Zeal has incredible lenses. I feel like sometimes they are, uh, they're kind of the underdog, but they make amazing goggles. Yeah, and with that, all that technical jargon means is they get lighter and darker depending on how sunny it is. So how rad is that? You do still get a second set of lenses for low light conditions, but this one will work in like if the weather changes during the day, you don't have your second set, you're not sure what's gonna happen, you don't wanna deal with it. They actually change on their own, which is pretty rad. Yeah, the venting on this is a little different since the top of the goggle is a little further away from your face than the bottom of the goggle because of that panoscopic tilt. You get a ton of venting up here, a little bit on the bottom, but you also get venting in the actual lens. So again, minimizing fog. Yeah, and then who's not the underdog ever is Smith. And Smith makes so many rad goggles. So how do you pick which Smith is the best of all the amazing Smiths? It's kind of hard to do, but we just kind of went with what we're loving right now, what we're liking right now, what I think just looks rad right now. And that's the uh, Squad uh, uh, Mag, which is the magnetic version of the Squad, which has this little release system down here and then they are after that um, magnetic. So it's kind of like a best of both worlds where they're magnetic, but they also lock into place and you get chroma pop technology and you get, you know, amazing Smith quality. So just a rad goggle and it's uh, cylindrical. It's just, it's very just rad. I think this is probably the most, uh, the, the goggle that the youths out there are gonna be most keen on looks amazing. They really captured that same aesthetic of the ever classic, ever amazing squad, but they made it better because now you can actually swap the lenses. Uh, really solid. Again, as a reminder, all of these guys come with a secondary lens. So you'll get a lens good for brighter light conditions, a lens good for lower light conditions outside of the Oakley. But as Rob explained, that's not necessarily a, 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 a downside. No, you, it, you don't pay for it. It's a little less expensive and some people just don't like interchanging lenses. So that's, that's awesome for you too. What I do like about that Oakley is that it comes in two sizes, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe the squad also comes in two sizes, comes in an XL yes. as well, which fits my big head really well. So there you have it. They're all amazing. I think we'd have to fight over which one's the best. It's really personal. We all kind of have our favorites. Win. Um, if you get any of these goggles, I think you're going to be really, really happy. If you get them from SportRx, I know you're going to be happy because we have the see better guarantee, which means if you get something from us and you don't love it, we'll work with you. We'll take it back. We pay for shipping both ways. We have amazing, friendly, knowledgeable opticians here on the phones that are happy to talk with you, help you pick out exactly what the right goggle for you, for your prescription, for where you're going, for what your budget is. So uh, we're here to help. We hope you have the most amazing season and let's pray for snow. Please let there be snow. Later. Later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, throw us a like, cause that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these awesome styles, you can click this button right here. If you want more good content to check out, I think you should check us out on our social media outlets. They're awesome. You should do that. That's why I recommend it.